Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello and welcome to the video for what is the get closest point on collision node. Well, right here you can see the get closest point on collision node. If we run this example, you'll see I have a green square here on my enemy, and when I get closer or move, you'll notice this green square draws a line as it goes around me. I'm drawing a debug indicating where our closest point is on the collision. Let's take a look at how the node works and we'll explain how we would use it. It takes in a target of a primitive component. It's going to need a primitive component to check against because it also needs collision. Now the component must have simple collision or else it's not going to be queryable. In this case I'm targeting this player here. I'm targeting the mesh that's on it or this red character. Now we need a point. So where in the world is this point we want to compare against so we can see where this point is closest to on our target. In this case, I have my first person character and he's holding his gun. At the tip of the gun, I have a sphere and I'm comparing where in the world that sphere is to our mesh so we get the closest point. That's why when we run this, you can see it's following him as my guns follows him. Now you'll notice it doesn't really go up and down. And it's kind of hard to see when you jump, but it's wrapping around the character's internal point. Now, the reason for that is this part here, our bone name. Now, it's optional, but it's the center of mass on the character if it's set to none. In that case, it's the pelvis area, or it's a specific bone name to follow if you happen to have bones. In this case, if you have a skeletal mesh, you'll probably have bones. Let me plug in my capsule component here. So we're going to check against the capsule component now. And that's this outside area, which you can see is a nice collision centered area. When we run our example, you'll notice it actually follows our point a lot better. It's kind of like we're drawing as it goes up. Of course, our point here is going to be closer to our character's top part. And as we go down, that point here is going to be closer to the bottom part. And it's all relative around our capsule, as you can see, as I go around and I jump, it goes higher. So that's important to note. Now, if you are using bones, we're going to plug this back in, you will get your collision around just that bone. So, for example, if we did head, we hit play, you'll notice now we are going around just the head. And if we go up, you'll notice it's mapping properly. If we were to look at our skeletal mesh, you'll see it's following our head bone here. And this is the collision we have around the head. So this is the point it's going to be tracing against, just the head, because we're going against the head bone. Let me put this back to none. Let me go ahead and plug my capsule component back in. Now the outputs are simple. You saw me using them. It puts a vector out, which is basically the closest point on the surface to where our point is that we're checking against. In that case, I'm drawing a debug point. And when I run it, you can see from here to here is going to be the closest point. As I go around, you can see it following. The other output is the return value. If it's greater than zero, it's a success. We successfully found a collision point and we've outputted it. If it is zero exactly, that means we have a convex collision or it's inside of the point. So it's not a valid point that we care about. And if it returns less than zero, then there's no collision at all to collide against. And that's the basics of the get collision point on, sorry, get closest point on collision node. It allows us to put in a component. How close is our point that we want to compare against in our world to that target? Find the closest point on the collider and then output that value so you can see we can use it here. So let's say you were firing or you want to do some swinging action. Maybe you are swinging a weapon and when you collide, you might want to check at the closest point and maybe apply some damage to that point based on where you hit the opponent at. Or Maybe you want to know specifically when you hit them and maybe give them force. And that's it. That's our get closest point on collision node.